Mars atmospheric entry is the entry into the atmosphere of Mars. High velocity entry into Martian air creates a CO2N2 plasma, as opposed to O2N2 for Earth air. Mars entry is affected by the radiative effects of hot CO2 gas and Martian dust suspended in the air. Flight regimes for entry, descent, and landing systems include aerocapture, hypersonic, supersonic, and subsonic. Topic Overview Thermal protection systems and atmospheric friction have been used historically to reduce most of the kinetic energy that needs to be lost prior to landing, with parachutes and, sometimes, a final bit of retropropulsion used in the final landing. High-altitude high-velocity retropropulsion is being researched for future transport flights landing heavier cargoes. For example, Mars Pathfinder entered in 1997. About 30 minutes prior to entry, the cruise stage and entry capsule separated. When the capsule hit the atmosphere it de-accelerated from about 7.3 km per second to 0.4 km per second 16,330 miles per hour to 900 miles per hour over three minutes. As it descended the parachute opened to slow it down further, and soon after the heat shield was released. During entry a signal was relayed back to Earth, including semaphore signals for important events. Topic: List of spacecraft. Some examples of spacecraft that have attempted to land on the surface of Mars: Mars 2 lost, Mars 3 lost, Mars 6 lost, Viking 1 entered atmosphere in 1975, Viking 2 entered atmosphere in 1975, Mars Pathfinder entered atmosphere in 1997. Beagle 2 lost, confirmed landed but derelict in 2015. Mare A, Mare B, Mars Polar Lander lost, Deep Space 2 lost, Phoenix Lander, Mars Science Laboratory Curiosity rover, Scaparelli underscore EDM underscore Lander lost, Insight Lander entered atmosphere in 2018. Topic: Technologies. A deployable decelerator like a parachute can slow down a spacecraft after a heat shield. Typically, a disc gap band parachute has been used, but another possibility are trailing or attached inflatable entry devices. Inflatable types include sphere with fence, teardrop with fence, isotensoid, torus, or tension cone and attached types include isotensoid, tension cone, and stacked toroid blunted cone. Viking program era researchers were the true pioneers of this technology, and development had to be restarted after decades of neglect. Those latest studies have shown that tension cone, isotensoid, and stack torus may be the best types to pursue. Finland's Metnet probe may use an expandable entry shield if it is sent. Martian air can also be used for aerobraking to orbital velocity aero capture, rather than descent and landing. Supersonic retropropulsion is another concept to shed velocity. NASA is carrying out research on retropropulsive deceleration technologies to develop new approaches to Mars atmospheric entry. A key problem with propulsive techniques is handling the fluid flow problems and attitude control of the descent vehicle during the supersonic retropropulsion phase of the entry and deceleration. More specifically, NASA is carrying out thermal imaging infrared sensor data gathering studies of the SpaceX booster controlled descent tests that are currently, as of 2014, underway. The research team is particularly interested in the 70 to 40 km 43 to 25 miles altitude range of the SpaceX re-entry burn on the Falcon 9 Earth entry tests as this is the powered flight through the Mars relevant retropulsion regime that models Mars entry and descent conditions although SpaceX is of course interested also in the final engine burn and lower velocity retropropulsive landing as well since that is a critical technology for their reusable booster development program which they hope to use for Mars landings in the 2020s Topic <laughs> Features Topic: 
Mars Science Laboratory The following data were compiled by Mars Science Laboratory's entry, descent and landing team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It provides a timeline of critical mission events that occurred on the evening of August 5 PDT early on August 6 EDT. Curiosity's EDL team releases a timeline for mission milestones depicted in this artist's concept surrounding the landing of the Mars rover. Topic: <laughs> Mars Pathfinder EDL Topic. Landing site identification Concept art for a Mars lander concept as it approaches the surface, illustrating how identifying a safe landing spot is a concern. Topic. See also Mars landing Venus atmospheric entry Hypercon spacecraft